I was first diagnosed in December uh, of 2016. I got a call from my uh, pediatrician first saying that my platelets were very, very low. And he called back probably about five, 10 minutes later. And he said, you have to rush to UMass right in Worcester. The team did over and they found leukemic cells. I went through the initial treatment of that. Um, it involved uh, a lot of chemotherapy, a lot of steroids, and that took up about the two years, and then it looked kind of good. And then the following two years in 2019, there were cells that had to be monitored, and they did a bone marrow biopsy and another LP, and just kind of confirmed again that um, I had leukemia again. I actually finished up what would have been five years of treatment back in August of 2021. And then sadly, not even two months after that, I found out that I had relapsed again for a second time. And this time it was pretty serious. The term CAR T-cell stands for chimeric antigen receptor T-cell. These are the patient's own immune cells that are collected from their blood. The company that we ship the cells to will re-engineer these cells. After the cells are, are re-engineered to attack that target, they're, they're multiplied in the lab. From there, uh, they, they will be shipped back to us, and then we actually re-infuse them into the patient. What's really exciting about these is once they're inside of a patient, when they encounter their target, not only can they latch on and kill a cell directly, by actually poking holes in the cell, uh, water will then rush in and rupture the cell. It's very difficult for cells to be resistant to that mode of killing. One of these CAR T cells can kill about a thousand tumor cells. It's the greatest discovery in the, of the last decade in our field in hematology oncology. I received it on April 22nd, 2022, and it was life-changing. Jonathan almost immediately started to show us that his new cells are actually working very well. Since then, he has been improving, you know, every moment that I have met him. Since probably the mid-half of June, I've been able to walk on my own and just each day it gets better and better and better. Right now, he's, he's in the remission. To know that we have world-class care here, you know, so close to our home, it makes us realize, you know, how blessed and how fortunate we are. To see the care team in every facet and every step of the care, here is top notch and they continue to be lifelong learners trying to continue to be better at what they do, you know, more effective in treating their patients. I think we're just very fortunate and very blessed for that. I had a great team of doctors both on the BMT floor and in the ICU that really helped me out and propelled me to really be as healthy as I am today. It's now six months after it and I'm looking great, feeling great, and have the optimism that I can continue to stay great and that this is gonna be the hopefully end of all my leukemia and cancer treatments forever.